welcome to my channel. My name is Rashonda King. For those of you who do not know me, and for today, we're gonna make a gender reveal centerpiece. Also at this time, I would like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel for a variety of DIY projects. I am gonna begin by letting you know the things that you're gonna need. For this project, you are going to need spray paint. So. Unlike my baby block centerpiece that I did before, I used acrylic paint, but this time I'm gonna use spray paint. So I have some baby blue spray paint, white spray paint, and pink or light pink spray paint. Also, you're gonna need flowers, pink and blue flowers. So the pink flowers come from Dollar Tree. The blue I had to order from Amazon, but if you catch Dollar Tree at the right time, you can also get the blue flowers from the Dollar Tree. You need floral foam. Uh, this comes from Dollar Tree. You need eight by 10, four eight by 10 picture frames. And I try to get the ones that are flat like that or that just have the flat front but I have used the other ones also you're gonna need five inch ladders from Walmart so you want to get you a B C D because you're making a, a baby block or you can I'm sure you can use whatever letters you would like to use and then to attach the five inch ladders to the baby block you're gonna need either I'm either going to use the E6000 or I'm going to use some Gorilla mounting tape. Um, it depends because I know it's, I'm going to make this project over some days because I have to spray paint the stuff and it's already late. So I know I'm not going to finish this project tonight. And of course you need your hot glue gun. Usually I forget items, so if I forgot anything, I will let you know throughout the video. You want to start by taking your picture frame apart. Now, one thing about my tutorial on the baby block centerpieces is that I make mine so that they have contrast. I, I've seen others make them and it really doesn't have that contrast. So mine have like the border, um, that's a different color. The letters are a different color. So it's more of a contrast going on. So you wanna take the contents out and you're gonna separate the glass from the frame. Your frames, you're gonna give it a white spray paint. This is stuck, so I'm gonna have to definitely fix that. Your, your frames, two of the frames, you're gonna spray paint pink two you're gonna spray paint baby blue and did I say frames your glass two of your glasses you're gonna spray paint the blue two of your glasses you're gonna spray paint the pink and then the white will be for your frame and letters okay I will be back after I give this a spray okay I gave my glass a spray paint I gave a picture frames and spray paint and I took the contents of the frame out and I mistakenly threw some of it away so I had to use a different method with the picture frames so let me see if I can show you so I just end up taking the contents out let me adjust the camera so I took the, the contents out of it because I threw some of it away and it wasn't holding the glass in place. So I had to get my E6000 and put some inside the frame and then lay the glass on top of it and let it dry overnight. So the only problem with this is when you're sticking the flowers in, I hope that I don't scratch this paint and, and damage it. So that's the only problem with using this method. Okay, so now I'm about to get ready to put my letters on so I plan to use E6000 and the hot glue just for the sake of this tutorial but you do not want to use 
the hot glue by itself because it's not gonna hold these letters on. Okay, so I'm adding some E6000, putting some drops in different spots. So put your E6000 on first because you don't have to worry about it drying on you. I hate the way this just keeps coming out. Okay, taking my hot glue gun, just gonna stick some in a couple of places just to hold it in place for now. Okay, you wanna put this one on a blue one, making sure I got it centered. There we go. If the A is on pink, make sure the B is on blue. I just wanna add the side that you paint on that's not the side that you want to attach the letters to. You want to attach to the letters to the opposite side so you have this smooth, shiny surface. So now I'm about to assemble my box. So you want to take your A and your B. I'm going to use some of this E6000 along. Oh with the hot glue, just to make sure it's nice and secure. I usually do this with just hot glue. I just wanna make sure it's on really, really good. So give it a couple of drops of hot glue in between. So I'm gonna take my ladder B up against this one so you want to add a foam board to your list from the Dollar Tree I do not have a piece of foam big enough to fit inside of my box so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this cardboard box so I'm gonna set it down place my box on top of it grab a pencil We're gonna trace the inside. I have the box put together, so I went ahead and put the foam in the inside. So I have a total of 13 pieces of foam. As you can see, I have this one sticking up in the middle because I wanna give my box a dome shape and my blue hydrogens, they don't have that much of a reach. So this is how the stem looks for these. So it's like not much I can do with this. I can't really, I probably could cut it, but it came with this length already. So I just wanna make sure I give it the dome shape. So I'm gonna start to insert the flowers. Now, if you wanna see details on how I put the box together, I want to encourage you to go ahead and watch my Black Panther um, centerpiece tutorial or you could go ahead and watch um, my other baby block centerpiece. And that will kind of give you um, some details on how I put this thing together, the box together in detail. So I'm just adding the flowers. I'm gonna try to cluster the flowers. So I'm gonna put clusters of pink, clusters of blue and I will be back when I am done. Um, for my base, I end up reinforcing it with more with tape because when I did my cardboard cutout for the bottom, I didn't like the way it was fitting, so I, re I reinforced it with the hot glue and then I flipped the box over and I used some box tape to secure it even more. And what else could I tell you? Just make sure you do at least two coats of paint. I was kind of like in a rush, so I did not do two coats of paint. And like you can kind of see it a little, um, the spots that I didn't fill in that much. And I will say that I am just very, very happy with the way this turned out. This is like on the top of my list of centerpieces that I've made that are just 
I just think it's just outstanding. I think it's just so beautiful. I think at a gender reveal, it would definitely make a statement because of the size of it, the blue and the pink. I just think it looks so beautiful. So let me hear what you think about this centerpiece. Comment below. And if you know of anybody that has a gender reveal coming up or even a baby shower, because this is adaptable for a baby shower as well. So I thank you for viewing this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.